sweet fan. on my own for three days sunday monday tuesday yeah three days um the house feels so quiet that was alan he's just gone down to san diego he's going to a conference for three days and he's picked the worst timing because it's actually my birthday and our anniversary all over these days that he's decided to leave but that's fine it can't be helped but it's just strange because I lived on my own for so long and I loved it and now I'm so used to living with someone that when I am on my own I find it so lonely um just for this first like bit of time and then once again to a rhythm I'm fine but yeah it just feels a bit strange anyway I'm waiting for the boys to wake up and we're going out we're meeting a girl today who has twin boys they were born like two weeks after Henry and Jack, so I'm very excited. We're just going to a park, kind of 15 minutes drive away in between our two houses. And um, yeah, we'll probably only be there about an hour because cannot be out when the boys need to nap, as I've explained before, just becomes a total disaster. But I always find this really tricky because they're at that stage now where they love eating, but yet there's not really anything easy to take out with us for them to eat. So I've done like, peanut butter on toast they still can't really eat sandwiches it's just too thick and obviously they can't chew that well so peanut butter on toast cut into little squares um some like crisp puff things and some fruit oh no maybe i'll take like a squeezable yogurt because also i just don't want them to make a huge mess i was going to take strawberries but everything will be red by the end of that so yeah i'm going to see what she does i'm going to ask her quiz her what she feeds them when she goes out but um, yeah, I'm gonna pick up now because there's just toys everywhere in here and then they'll probably wake up and we have a mad dash to get out, changed, fed, all that stuff. So, yeah. Did I even say hi yet? Happy whatever day it is for you when you're watching this. It is Sunday here, Sunday morning. And yeah, today's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna take you with me. Probably won't film much when we're in the park because that would just be weird for the girl. Like, I don't really like shoving a camera in people's faces. So we'll leave the camera. I may just take a few photos, but yeah, it's actually quite overcast today out there. Uh, it's not as hot as normal. So I'm very pleased about that. And we're off. We're off to meet some friends. Some new friends, yeah? Didn't you look cute? And the sun is now out and it is roasting. So I'm gonna be sweating, but that's fun. So let's get on the road. just got home that was lovely if not absolutely boiling <laughs> um it's such a pity that it works out that i always have to meet people in the middle of the day because it is just so so hot but she was so lovely her boys were so cute and um yeah it's like 1 30 <sighs> jack just fell asleep in the car like deep deep asleep and i was like should i leave him in the car with the engine running I didn't know what to do, so I woke him up and I put them straight into their bedroom, but I can see it being a disaster now. This is what I feared, and this is like what puts me off going out because now if he doesn't nap, then he's sitting up in his crib. Then it just messes my whole day up, but what can you do? Um, he'll have to have a cat nap later on. Then he won't go down at night. I think because it's so warm as well he just got like all cozy because he never normally falls asleep in the car so that was my bad I should not have given him a pacifier in the car seat anyway lesson learned I wasn't thinking I was just so hot and bothered I just wanted to get home but I'm gonna go ring Alid because he tried to call me and he had some sort of incident at the train station so I just want to check he's okay yeah Whew, I need to cool down you want to say hi to the camera <laughs> what are you doing Hello. Oh, oh, hello too. Hello. Hello. Hello, Sleepy. Mr. Sleepy. Hello, Mr. Jack Jack. Hello. Okay, you can't both have the camera. You can look. Yeah. 
you can look. So I've got them both up, as you can see. They weren't sleeping, so here we are. I don't know what to do. I'm thinking to keep them out for an hour and give them another bottle. And then try and put them down again. Because <laughs> I don't think Henry slept. I think it was just Jack. And I, I really don't know how long he slept for. It could have been five minutes. It could have been 15. So um, just careful, boys. You just love this camera, don't you? Um, we're going to hang out in here. No need to cry, is there? No need to cry. We're going to hang out in here. We're going to do another bottle. I'm going to try and go down at three. And then see if they sleep. But oh, lovely, lovely dribble. <laughs> Camera has to go away because you two are so silly. Are we going to sleep now? Here's to attempt two. Please sleep. Please sleep. Because tonight is not going to be fun otherwise. <sighs> Well, this is how it's going. One baby awake, two baby awake. To me, they do not look like they want to sleep one bit, so I think I'm gonna call it quits and just get them up. It's getting far too near bedtime. I just don't think they're gonna sleep and I'm just gonna put them to bed a bit earlier. This is the second day this week that they've done this. It's always the second nap. I've learned in the last 10 months not to get frustrated about this. They don't wanna sleep, so they're not gonna sleep and we'll try again tonight. They'll probably be so tired by five that they'll go to sleep. But if they fall asleep now after three, it's getting too near night time, so. <laughs> just as I say that, they're probably gonna. No. Up we go again. <laughs> oh God. Jack finds the drill very funny. Jack, look. Is it funny, Henry? Just Jack. <laughs> down it's about 45 minutes earlier than I normally put them to sleep and they've completely conked out which I thought would happen because they're so so tired but they'll probably wake up in an hour an hour and a half crying and then it'll take them a bit of time to go down and I feel really bad because I know this is partly my fault because of going out but um, this also happened did I just mention that this also happened earlier in the week and I googled it and it said when they're resisting that second nap it is a form of a regression so maybe we're going through that as well um, because Henry Henry should have gone to sleep. I don't know why he didn't, but this is what I'm dealing with right now. Somebody's waiting to go and play ball, but there's quite a lot of stuff that needs just putting away and picking up and tidying up. So I'm gonna do a speed clean, and then I'm gonna go and sit 
with Hendrix for a bit and talk to you all about the boys because I haven't even talked about the 10 month update yet and it's like the end of the day. But I had so much planned for this three days that I did away and I'm already a day down and I've done nothing because today was just a write off. And what's so weird is that normally my days seem so long and they nap, but they didn't even nap today and it's gone by in a flash. So don't know, don't understand that. They've just been so good. Even though they haven't slept, they've been the funniest, happiest little boys. And it's literally made my life because days that they're like that, I just want to have like a thousand kids. <laughs> and then days that they're not like that, I just think, oh my God, this is the hardest thing ever. But yeah, I'm going to go speed clean a bit, play with Hendrix, and then I'm going to be back to talk to you all about how month 10 has been. time just to sit and chat to you guys I find at the moment that I'm just so busy with the boys I forget to even drink it sounds pathetic but it's manic it really is um, so here we are <sighs> lovely it's been so hot today so so hot when I was sitting out here with them just playing a minute ago I was jealous of them just wearing a diaper to be honest anyway going on to this month this month's been a whirlwind I'm trying to think um, when I last, I know I did a nine month update, but was I living here? And had I had the doctor's appointment? I really can't remember. I feel like I did the nine month appointment before I spoke to the pediatrician. Um, we have a new pediatrician obviously having moved here to LA. So that's, uh, that's all fine. Um, obviously I've only met the guy once, the doctor once. Really nice chap. There was no issues with the boys really. One thing that I was so impressed with, didn't even mention about Henry's um, torticollis, the issue he had with his flathead and the guy noticed it. I keep calling him a guy. The doctor noticed it instantly and um, was just like, you know, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it and no concern right now. But um, I was actually going to forget, to be honest, to mention it when he said, um, tell me about the history of the boys. Was there any issues? Was there any concerns when they were born and the first nine months of their life? And I was like, no, everything's been fine. Completely forget about poor Henry. And he noticed it. So I was really impressed with that because my old doctor didn't actually even notice that I was the one that brought it up. And then he started the physical therapy. So very, very pleased about the doctors. They seem great, very friendly and really like know their stuff so really happy about that i don't think they have an appointment now until 12 months and then um yeah we'll see how they're getting on but month 10 wow what well, so much has gone on to be honest um this is the first month that i've done the journal before they actually turn 10 months which is really something to be said for so um i'm just gonna flick through this because i know i've done this every month before and quite frankly i just don't remember one huge thing that's happened this month is that they're really standing up and today has been the first day where they've made steps like they're gonna be walking very soon I think by 11 months they're gonna be walking or like making a few steps and falling over but we'll see another huge thing that's happened this month before I get into the book is teething teething this month has been such a drama Jack's had two teeth come through it's mostly been Jack, I guess, and Henry's like, they're coming now, um, two on his left side, and they've been really pretty miserable with that. All of last week, they barely wanted to eat. They were really fussy with a certain bottle of the day, and they were just really struggling, and it was really unpleasant. So that has not been a nice part of this month. So some of the questions in this book, it was quite a lot about personality, which I was finding quite hard because it changes so much with the boys and we've really noticed this past two or three months that everything we said about Henry at the beginning has now switched and Henry is the cheekiest, funniest, smiliest little boy and Jack has become quite like independent and playing with his toys on his own and just content to like sit. Alan thinks he's a mummy's boy, he loves a little bit of a cuddle but it's really changed around. He's the one that's been a bit like fussier too this month, but I think that's partly because of his teeth. 
So it's asking what trouble they get into. I wouldn't really say they're getting into trouble yet. They're not quite old enough, but they are just getting hurt all the time. They're trying to walk, they're trying to climb, they're falling, they're hitting things. They keep getting like their legs twisted when they're trying to work out how to sit and stand and everything else. So it's been a lot of clumsy incidents, a lot of hurting themselves, a lot of tears but also a little giggle. Favourite things about my baby's personalities. It's just so hard, there's so many things, but the giggles and the laughing and the way that they've really connected with each other this month. They've started chasing each other around the couch and just laughing at each other when they see each other and things like that. It's been the cutest thing. In what way is your baby moving? Well, you know, foods that are their favourites. <sighs> okay, this is hard because they, they go through phases, but definitely fruits. They love strawberries, they love blueberries avocado absolutely love they're very good at eggs a lot of eggs and any sort of cracker they love ritz crackers they love the teething crackers oh and lately we bought these like peanut butter puffs i think they're called bamba puffs someone else mentioned them on a vlog and i went and bought them obsessed literally if we go to the park and have a couple of them they are like snatching each other's love them new tricks that they can do uh, obviously the chasing thing around the sofa, that's new. And dancing, they started dancing this month where they sit in their high chairs and the music comes on. They do this like shuffle, it's so funny. And when they're sitting just like on the carpet. How are they sleeping? Ooh, I feel like every month the sleep is up and down. Some nights are great, other nights are not great. You've seen what's happened today. It's just, you never know what the day holds, but on the whole, they sleep pretty good through the night. Sometimes the pacifiers fall out of the crib and they cry a lot and I give in and I go in and get them. I thought about getting those bumpers, the like mesh ones that they're breathable, but the girl I met today, we spoke about it and she's like, oh, I've got those and they still managed to drop the pacifiers. So I really don't think I'm gonna bother. They're like $30 each. I'm not about to spend $60 on something that doesn't help. Um, but I may start being a bit more strict and like not going in to put the pacifiers back in the crib. I just don't want them to be up for too long throughout the night because I feel like it's just like a vicious cycle and they're gonna be tired in the morning, but they do need to learn that I'm not always gonna run to pick it up. What noises does your baby make? I guess this month has been a bit of a advance in the babbling. They're saying dada and mama, and I'm not really sure they know what that means yet, but Alice did say when I leave the house, they're saying mama through the glass sliding doors, so maybe they know. Who knows? What do they dislike? Uh, Henry does not like it when he's ignored. If he wants something and we don't get it for him, he, he gets very, very irritated. And then Jack this month, he's learnt now, but he didn't know how to get down from a standing position. And this went on for like a couple of weeks. He was screaming. He'd stand up and then he'd scream because he didn't know how to get back down. And it was the most frustrating thing. No matter how many times we tried to help him to get down, he just didn't get it. And you'd think he'd just like fall and just like not care, which Henry did straight away, but he just would not go down onto his knees or anything. So there was a lot of screaming when he was standing up, which was very, very hard work there. Last question, what is your baby's relationship like with siblings or pets? Oh my goodness, they love each other. They definitely know that they're brothers almost. They like look for each other when they're separated. First thing in the morning when they wake up, they're looking at each other through the crib. They've started like talking to each other in the bedroom makes no sense whatsoever. Definitely aware of each other and absolutely love each other. Lots of snatching of toys, but lots of playing together and giggling as well. So a lot going on with those two together at the moment, but it's great. And then when it comes to Hendrix, oh my God, they're obsessed with him. I feel very sorry for Hendrix this month because they're just constantly pulling his fur, climbing over him. Uh, Henry likes to shriek right up to his face and like pull his lips up and stuff. Uh, we've had two little things happen. Hendrix has like jumped up and they've gone flying off him because they've been pulling his skin and his fur too much. And then I think they were like just hurting him, like squeezing him and he growled at them. <laughs> I heard it from behind the sofa and I was like, oh, but he's so good. So placid, such a sweetheart. And he's staring for his ball. Go on him. So yeah, I think that is everything for this month. Um, been a great month, also a very tiring month. They're still waking very, very early. I've tried everything to sort of push that early wake up a little bit later, but now I've decided that for now it's great. They wake up at six and I really need to be out with the dog by seven because of the heat here in the summer. So I'm keeping it as it is for now. And then maybe as autumn fall comes around, we can get onto like a seven to seven routine because 
I just don't like getting up at six. But then again, I love my evenings. I love having this time now when they're asleep. So I don't know, it's tricky. I really thought by now that I'd just like jump out of bed at six because I used to easily get up at six before I had the boys. Like I used to start work at 5.36 and I'd be fine. I loved early mornings, but it's just not happening now with the boys. And I'm wondering whether that's because my sleep's quite broken through the night, maybe. Um, or just because my days are more demanding. I don't know, but not worrying about it. Just gonna go with the flow, see what happens. But yeah, that's been month 10. And um, I feel like I've done quite a lot of clips, so I don't wanna make this too long. I am gonna push myself now and try and do two videos a week. I can't promise anything, I'm really gonna try. Um, just one maybe slightly shorter. I feel like I'm always doing like 20, 30 minute vlogs, and maybe if I just had one a week that was slightly shorter, um, I would manage to do all the editing and get these up because I really want to do two, but I'm just finding it hard to get the time. So working on that. And I'm probably gonna be speaking to you all over the next two days while Alex's not here because I'm just quite lonely and it's nice. So uh, lots of things planned. Probably not gonna fit hardly any of them in, but I'm sure I'm gonna vlog with you one of the days, if not both. So I will see you all in the next one and yeah i hope you've all had a good day whatever you may have been doing me and hendrix are gonna chill with our lacroix and our ball this flavor by the way is bomb limoncello i mean you don't want to drink loads of them but one on a hot sunny day so good so cheers and see you next time